Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. This video is part of a series documenting the full conversion of my second Daihatsu Hijet. I've already cracked on with it so far, there's plenty of videos on my channel. I've insulated all the panels, all the doors, fitted the window and the sliding door, everything's been carpeted in here. I've had the skylight fitted, floorings down, insulated, vinyl flooring, safety floorings laid as well. So now all the basics of the internals are all done, it's now start time to start building up the actual interior. So this video is going to be building a bed. Now I've already done a high jet earlier on this year and I'm going to be building a very very similar sort of bed that I've done in that one. If you haven't seen that video do have a look as well, that's on my channel already. The full conversion of the previous high jet that I did is fully documented job by job there. So the bed for this one is going to be a sofa bed, it's going to be a corner sofa bed that's going to be going down the driver's side with the corner bit removable behind the seats. It's going to be removable because the passenger and driver's seats fall backwards to gain access to the engine because the actual seats sit on top of the engine, that's why these vans are so small yet so spacious inside. So you always have to leave enough room to be able to flip the seats back, so there's going to be a removable section there with a fixed permanent section going down the side of the van. It's going to have a flip out panel going along that will connect to a kitchen pod. The kitchen pod will get built in a different video. So first things first, I've just got to start basically doing some measurements and constructing it up. It's not going to be exactly the same as the previous one that I did. The previous one I had the full section going all the way across to the, uh, the passenger door. This one I'll probably just make it that a little bit shorter but it'll still fully cover the gearbox cover, so you won't be able to see that. It'll fully encompass that into the actual build. So I've got my basic construction materials ready. It's just going to be made out of CSL construction timber. The tops and the sides are all going to be uh, 9mm ply. That's plenty strong enough, nice and thick, but not too heavy at the same time. I said the full bed itself doesn't weigh that much when it's all fully constructed, but it's still going to come out to, I think it's around about 90 centimetres wide, almost a full two metres long. So it's a it's a good sized bed, or it should be when it's fully made up anyway. So I'm just going to don my gear on, get some measurements made, get some cuts made, and I'll document the full build as we go along. So that's the majority of the actual timber cut down now. This is just a quick mock up just to show pretty much the layout that it's going to be. Still need a couple of uh, beams just for cutting across, just as supporting braces more than anything else. But you can see I've left a bit more space there than I did on the last one. The last one came right up to the door. Still not much, but just that little bit extra just means that the cushion shouldn't be pushing right up against the pillar. But as I say, that's pretty much a rough, rough mock-up of how it's going to be looking. So now it's a case of just getting a few more bits cut out, just for the support bars going across. Then I can start assembling it all, getting it together, start cutting down some old caravan cushions, see how they turn out, and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have a fully-fledged, full sofa bed, fully built and ready to go.
Right, so there's all the full basic frame fully constructed. Now it just needs all the ply top supply uh, cutting down and fixing on. We're gonna have to get some piano hinges for those, just so they so they can flip up and the front panels can flip down, just for easy access. But you can see the amount of storage that will be available underneath the bed. It's got the full length, that's 150 centimeters long. So there's loads of storage under here, and there's gonna be plenty of storage for bedding, uh, pots, pans, portable toilet, cooler, loads of stuff there. The front section is fully removable and it's really lightweight as well. This just lifts straight out and then that gives access to the gearbox cover in case it's ever needed and it also gives more room to have the seats to be able to flip back. Once any maintenance is done, it'll lift straight back in again as you can see one handed and straight back in. So that's it, that's the full frame done. Now it's just a case of getting some ply cut down, making it look more bed, sofa bed like than just a timber frame. So there's all the panels for the ply all cut down now. I'm just going to have to get some piano hinges just to be able to mount them because the front uh, panel will be able to flip down for easy access to the storage underneath. And the top panel again will have another piano hinge just so it can fold up again just for more easy access straight in just in case you want to load anything big or bulky into it. So now it's just a case of getting the cushions all cut down to size. I've got some really good condition caravan cushion with foam. But as you can see, this is like really, really thick foam. It's just too thick for in here. I've cut down some foam before for a previous fan that I've done on the Ford Connect in there, and that worked out quite well. So I'm going to do the same with this stuff. Just going to cut straight down the middle, just with a uh, bread knife, straight through, all the way through the full foam. That will uh, half the actual thickness of the form, so it just means it's going to be given an extra couple of inches of head headroom. And obviously, if you're in a small little micro camper, all the headroom you can get is only going to be better. So as you just saw, I was just cutting down all of the cushions. Now obviously by cutting them straight in half, it means that I'm basically doubling the amount of foam per cushion as well. It's still really nice, really soft, really springy. But as you can see, it's taking shape really nicely now. Now it's just a case of upholstering them back up again. I might try and squeeze them back into the old covers, but because they've been cut down both width and depth, the, the old covers it still need some work to try and get them to fit so I'm not sure yet <coughs> I might order some material I might try and squeeze them in the old covers but I've had enough for today I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow but as you can see it's looking really nice lovely little sofa bed this is going to be by the time it's finished so yeah I'd say it's coming along quite nicely 
so I'm just about to try and start reupholstering the cushions that I cut down earlier. I could try and squeeze them into the old uh, cushion covers that they came out of, but because they've been cut down in width and depth, the cushion covers themselves would still need their uh, upholstering again anyway, so instead I'm going to have a very basic attempt at upholstering myself. I've got no tools other than a pair of scissors and some upholstery trim fix as I say that stuff's good for upholstering as well as uh, headlinings this that the other any sort of fabric it should be okay so I'm going to give it a go I've not done any of this before so do go easy on me if it doesn't come out too well we'll have a look we'll see how it progresses along but as I say so the, the only way to actually have a go is a case of getting stuck in and see what the actual final results are going to be so I've been out and bought some nice new leatherette type material Really nice looking stuff, should go nicely in the van Just cut this one down to size So now I'm just about to start gluing it all on And see what I can try and get as a final result So there's the first cushion done, and for a very, very first attempt at doing anything like this, I think it's come out alright. There's a little bit of overspray, still needs just to be wiped off, but that'll just come straight off. Other than that, the top looks very presentable. The underside looks neat enough. As I say, considering all I've got is scissors and glue, it's come out okay. Everything's pretty tight and secure, so nothing should be coming loose. But as I say, you don't sit on the underside. So that's the top side, and that's looking all nice, nice and neat. So yeah, that's not too bad. Just plenty more cushions left to do. Right, so there we go. That's all of the upholstery reupholstered, basically. All of the uh, caravan cushions have been cut down and been fully reupholstered with brand new. Uh, ruby leatherette type material It's looking really really nice. I've actually surprised myself with how well I've actually been able to get it done I say this is the first time I've ever tried attempting anything like this and especially considering the only tools I've had are a pair of scissors and a can of glue That's it Obviously the edges aren't looking 100% professional, but still it's nice and neat and presentable definitely to say the least Some of the overspray still needs cleaning off, I just don't have any white spirits at the moment, I've just rubbed some off with some uh, grip gloves, uh, but as I say, just to get the rest of the spray glue off, I'll just get a little bit of white spirits, it's all on the back of the actual uh, cushions where the any overspray is, I say there's very little anyway, and so just daft little bits like that, and generally just where the seam join is, but other than that, I say all the faces look nice and neat, all the cushions, nice and smooth on it. I just hope the camera's going to be making it out because I know the material's quite dark and it's quite dark in here as well. well there we go. That's how I've fully upholstered all of the interior of this 
die had to hide yet. Just using old caravan cushions, cutting them down into half and cutting them into shape. And then just basically spraying, gluing all of the material on, trimming it down to fit. And so I think it looks quite nice, quite neat, especially for a first attempt. So there's the bed bill fully finished now. I've actually built the kitchen pod now as well. So that's what the extension of the bed rests out on too. So I think it's turned out pretty nicely. And see so if I just get in, I built the bed slightly shorter than I did on the last high jet. And as you can see, I've got plenty of headroom here. Before my hair was pretty much brushing the headlining, whereas now it's not even touching it, sitting up straight, I'm not having to slouch or anything like that. So it goes to show that the bed has a good height to it because as I say I'm six foot three and if I can sit up pretty much straight without my head actually touching the, uh, the actual roof line it goes to show that it's a good height in regards to the sofa. The sofa itself you could easily fit five maybe even six people sitting around it. Definitely five uh, and I say especially if I move down on the end there I'll say that's on the end spot and you can see just how much space is still left on there. So it's a really comfortable sofa, you can fit five, maybe even six people into it without issue at all. It transforms into a bed in seconds, I'll put the camera down and I'll make it up as the bed just to show you how quick and easy it is. So to make the bed, there's just a ply sheet under this main board that just slides out and into a little gap at the very top and it rests on the kitchen side there. And there you go, that's it made up. You just need to then move a couple of cushions across. And there we go, there is as good size of a double bed that you can pretty much get into these size vans. It measures pretty much 200 centimetres in length, just over 80 centimetres wide. So with the bed in its made up position, you can see with the door shut, I've got my feet at the end there. I can lie fully flat down just by moving the seats forward just a couple of clicks it doesn't even have to go all the way forward and as I say there is me fully stretched out six foot three plenty of wiggle room at the end plenty of headroom still to go at the top if you wanted any more space just move the seats further forward you can see I'm pretty much only taken up around about half the bed as well so it should easily be able to squeeze a second person in here as well and then it transforms back into the sofa bed again in seconds just by putting this cushion back up there, sliding the ply away. But before I do that, just point out this little bit of uh, space here. I purposely left this area free, just so it means that when you do get up, say in the morning or anything like that, you're not having to put the full bed away, all of the bedding cushion away, just to be able to actually sit up, make a cuppa, make any breakfast, this, that, the other. You can get into the, ki uh, the kitchen storage and area under there, no problems. And it just means that you can actually get up and actually just sit first thing in the morning rather than having to put all of the bed stuff away just to be able to actually sit. But again, you can see I'm sitting straight and there's plenty of headroom still there as well. So it just goes to show how best I've been able to actually build the sofa bed just to give the most amount of usable space in it. So I'll just pop it back into the sofa position. Again, seconds to do. Back into the sofa position, just like that. So, <coughs> so that's how I've made the full sofa bed for this uh, little Daihatsu high jet that I'm building into a full DVLA registered camper van. And I say, just over eight centimetres wide, just over 200 centimetres long. So there shouldn't be any issues squeezing pretty much anybody in here at all. 
So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do give it that good old thumbs up. Have a look at my channel if you haven't already. There's loads of videos on there. I've documented a previous hijack on there. I've documented my T4 on there. There's a Ford Connect on there. All the jobs I've done to this are getting documented job by job as well. So I say there's loads of content on my channel. Still plenty more to come as well. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thumb up the video. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video of my series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.